Hey folks, welcome back to another segment of Geek Corp's uh, Productions. Uh, my, your host, me, Timothy Adams, will be walking you through something different. We're going to take a break from the D&D attack wing, and we're going to go back a little bit of time, and we're going to go to the beginning of Wave 9's release for the Star Trek attack wing by WizKids NECA. Uh, we're going to be looking at today the Scimitar. Uh, very nice ship, very cool, and I recommend that if you haven't picked one up, you do so, and you'll see what I mean. Let's go take a look. Hey folks, welcome back. So here we go with the product review itself. Uh, one thing you're going to notice right off the bat that it comes with quite a few cards. And before we get into the cards and the ship, let's look at the die cut tokens. So you can see that the die cut tokens, it comes with four captain tokens, or eight, but four captains. Shinzon, Viceroy, and two Romulan captains. So a uh, lot of options there. We'll see what the different ones do. The shields, target lock, disable token, and your standard maneuver dial, admiral and fleet action tokens, as well as the standard cloaking, critical hit, evasive, and auxiliary power tokens. As far as the ship itself, it comes into play in a normal base. Uh, a lot of people had hoped that it was going to come in a larger base like the Borg Tactical Cube, but it does not. Uh, in the movie, the scimitar is larger than the Enterprise and very formidable. Um, in this case, they used it under standard techniques. They didn't, or standard base, as they did. Sorry, I lost my thought. I thought I heard something over here. Anyway, as we can see, oh, it's just my cat. I see what he's doing. He's not playing nice with the dog. So, aside from that, uh, they'll let them hash it out and let the fur fly where it may. But getting back into the ship, we see that the detail is very nicely done as far as it's crafted goes. Not too much on the paint job itself, but it is a very nice design. Oops, get underneath. You can see how they went all out on this one. It's very nice. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a larger scale. The scaling for WizKids on this hasn't been too uh, proportionate um, like they did for the Teeny Prize, the first, the little Enterprise, Kirk's Enterprise, um, smaller than everything else. If they were going to stick with one scale, they should have stayed that way for most of the normal ships. That's the only uh, thing that I see that kind of bothers me. But other than that, uh, this particular model is very nicely done. And it has all the different armament and different abilities and capabilities that you can see. It has a forward and rear firing arc. Getting into the cards itself, let's look right at the scimitar itself. So you can see primary weapon six. It's unique. Two agility, seven hull four shields. It says, after you attack while cloaked, you may place an auxiliary power token beside your ship to keep your cloaking token from flipping to its red side. Very nice. Then, of course, I have it on the other side. You have the, Romul the Riemann Starship. It's a Riemann Warbird. The only difference is, is that it has one less shield and no action in its description. So it's still very, very powerful. Riemann Boarding Party. There is the Riemann Warbird Maneuver, up to six straight. The only red that it has that grants it an auxiliary power token would be its four come about. That would be, this is a very maneuverable ship. Uh, very powerful and worth getting if you were to get one ship from the new wave just to begin with. And of course, here we go with Shinzon. Shinzon, during the Gather Forces set up Start step of set up, set up. Oh boy, that's a tongue tie. Uh, instead of purchasing an um, elite upgrade as a normal for Shinzon, you may spend four SP to place up to four Romulan elite upgrades face down besides this card. These cards remain face down until you decide to use one of them. When you do so, select one you want to use and turn it face up for the rest of the game, then discard the other three. So it's very good. Basically, it allows you to have some insider information to your opponent. Very cool. He is a nine captain, and his uh, 
The squad point cost is six. The Viceroy, very cool, very cool captain. The start of the game, place two mission tokens on this card during the playing phase after all of the ships have chosen the maneuvers. You may discard one of the mission tokens from this card to target a ship at range one. Look at the ship's maneuver dial and then select your maneuver. The target ship cannot change its chosen maneuver after you look at it. Very cool. Again, more legal cheating. The, here is, uh, I guess, Hiran is his name. Disable one of your crew upgrades to gain one attack die this round. Very cool. He is also the Admiral. On a fleet action, disable one of your crew upgrades to gain one attack die this round. So that's very cool. You can use that for its fleet action. Then a standard zero cost captain. Thaleron weapon, 10. Very nice. Range two, three, unique. Uh, very expensive, 10. Uh, very similar to the board cutting beam. Attack, discard this card to perform this attack. Instead of inflicting normal damage for each uncanceled hit or crit result, discard the captain card or one crew upgrade, opponent's choice, on the target ship. If the captain and all crew upgrades on the target ship are destroyed, any additional uncanceled hit or critical result damage the ship as normal, max five. This upgrade can be only purchased for a Ra Reman Warbird. Very nice. Take out your opponent. Photon torpedoes, very basic. Secondary shields, um, improved cloaking device, target weapon systems. If you damage an opponent's hull with a crit, you may immediately discard this card to search the damage deck for a munitions failure or a weapons malfunction card instead of drawing a random card. Reshuffle the damage deck when you're done. I like that. Full stop. Of course, attack pattern Shinzon Theta. During the deal damage step of the combat phase, you if you hit your opponent's ship, you may discard this card to add one additional damage to that ship's shields if possible for every uncancelled result. Oops, sounds like my wife's home for lunch. And then, of course, your standard mission rules and additional rules for the fleet and animal tokens. So, as we can see... Oh, hey, babe. How are you? So, uh, that's it for this ship. I will be going on to doing some other videos. And, of course, if you're tired of my reviews, there's always going to be some additional views to look forward to. And I have an article, too, that I'm going to be writing. All right. Thank you for your time. Happy gaming. And don't forget to check out our... our uh, blog at geekcp.net and any other uh, gaming sites that you might like, like tabletoprpg.com, uh, uh, Table Titans, Wizards of the Coast.com, of course, WizKidsGames.com, and various others that you will see in the links on our vlog. All right, happy gaming. Take care, guys.